Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at these uh, 18650 cells from Samsung uh, that we got off batteryhookup.com. Um, I always conflicted about getting a battery and showing you guys and them not having them for very long. Uh, but I've confirmed with them they have quite a few of these. They should be around for a while. Um, so you can get as many as you like. Um, they have them in different packs, 30, 60, and 90, I believe. Uh, double check the website. We'll have the link in the description. Uh, but these are Samsung INR18650-33C. Uh, they are rated at 32 milliamp hours or 3.2 amp hours. And um, I have tested every single one of these. And we've got some uh, results that are very positive. Of the 30, these five are the only ones that came under 3200. And if you notice, they're really, if you can read this, it's 3171, 3171, 3195, 3195, and 3187. So just barely under uh, 3200. But if you're going to build a pack and you want to set a, a low threshold and you want to say, I want all my cells over 3200, I think you're going to get quite a few of those out of any uh, box that you get from them. Um, I'm going to put the spec sheet on the screen. Um, according to their description, that if you run these at 0.2 C, they should get the full 3200 or a little less, maybe a little more. Um, but if you run them, you can run them up to 2 C, which we're going to do a test here in a little bit, and and you'll get not as much. The harder you press, push them, the less capacity they have. So just think about that as you're building your application, your battery pack for your application. Um, if you need it to last longer, uh, you know, but you have to run it a little harder, uh, think about paralleling them and getting the capacity you need. Um, and so that's the first look here. Uh, we're going to hook this up to a load, and then we're going to um, you know, test it at 1 amp, uh, 3 amp, and then 6 amp. So 1 amp you know, is kind of under the capacity. Uh, 1C would be 3 amp, and then um, the 2C should be around 6 amp or around there. And so we'll do a heat test. We'll set them at room temperature, run it at 1 amp for about 2 or 3 minutes and see what the, what the temperature is. And then we'll do it at 3 amp, and then we'll do it at 6. So you can get an idea of how well these cells perform as far as uh, not overheating and such. So let's set that up and do that now. All right, let's go over our testing setup here. We've got our cells in a 6S configuration, so that gives us 24 volts. Um, we're going through a little collimator so we can see the amperage that we're pulling. And then we have a variable power supply here so we can very precisely control how much amperage we're using. The load is a, a 4S uh, LiPo battery, um, and so the idea is we're going from 24 volt down to 14. So I can take the power from this and put it in another battery, but I can finally control how much energy is being used so I can get an exact amount of amperage that we want for our test. So I'm going to use my thermal camera. I'm going to take a picture of the cells currently at room temperature, and then we'll run it at one amp for two minutes, and then we'll take another picture and I'll have those on the screen. So let's do that now. While we're doing this test here, we're at one amp, uh, going for two minutes. We have a, a little voltage drag down to 3.8 volts. Um, and so we'll keep an eye on that when we go up to the other amperages. I think we're probably going to get to 3.7 or 3.6 as we push it a little harder. And so let's uh, look at the results of the temperature after one amp for two minutes. All right, uh, to the touch, I didn't really feel anything, uh, any temperature difference. Uh, we'll look at the pictures here, the, the measurements, and see for sure. Let's move on to 3 amps. I think we'll get a little bit of warmth this time, and we'll see what it is. So we'll start out with the room temperature, and then we'll go to uh, 3 amp for 2 minutes. During this uh, 3 amp test, the cells are lagging down to about 3.7 or 3.68, uh, which is to be expected. And so we'll probably see that a little more when we go to 6 amp. All right, we're finished with that test there. Um, I'm not feeling anything to the touch. They feel very normal on temperature. Um, and so we'll compare the beginning thermal picture to what it is now. And then we'll bump it up to 6 amp, which I know we will get some um, variation on the temperature. So let's do that now. Check out the results and then we'll move on. All right, we got a voltage lag on this test, about 3.4, uh, 3.39 or such, which is expected. We are running a little hotter. 
I can definitely feel the temperature touch so let's take a picture and compare with the temperature change and again this was 6 amp at 2 minutes and we'll look at a summary of all our results and then move on to um, the cost of this let's do that all right let's take a look at the summary we got some data to review uh, at 1 amp we only got a 0.4 uh, increase in degrees now that easily just could be an ambient temperature, but uh, again, it just kind of proves that at that low rate, uh, the cells will probably never get warm at all. At the three amp, we have 1.3 uh, degrees of increase, but again, that's probably not as negligible. Um, definitely, definitely within safe parameters. And then when we go to the six amp, we got a 10.8 degree bump from 84 to 95. Again, 95 is plenty safe. It's almost room temperature in some places. Um, and so as long as you have a six amp load, um, I think you're, you're going to be all right. Um, now, two minutes wasn't the longest test in the world, but I think it just kind of shows that um, it, it will get warm, but I think it's still within safe parameters. So let's move on to cost. All right, let's take a look at the cost. Uh, 30 pack costs $60. So if you divide that by 30, it's $2 a cell. But as you know, things cost money to be shipped. So if we add the shipping, which for me is, is uh, South Carolina, it was $17.16. So if you divide that by 30, it's roughly $2.57.58 per cell. Pretty good price for brand new cells with that capacity and amp rating. So um, just a heads up that if you use my discount code TECH, you can get 5% off and uh, that'll help you out and it helps out the channel. So then we'll call that a video and uh, thank you guys for watching and um, if you pick some up and you have a project, please put in the comments something you're working with and I'd love to hear about it. Have a good one guys.